What's up everybody? It's your boy Rico Mouse with another video. So you're in psychosis. That's the title of this video. I'm gonna be talking about my own experience in psychosis slash manic episodes and how things you should think of and what seems to be the goddamn that's a great start to the game. And what you see, need to think of when you're in psychosis, some reminders of what normal life is like. Um, and just like a proper mindset for how to stay out of it. Uh, and what I've learned from it. You def it's definitely like an experience. You learn from it uh, that your mental health is more important than you may initially be thinking. Okay, that was a bad play by me. That's nice. Go around. Har 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 har. All right, nice. Okay. Um. So I'm just gonna be talking about manic episodes and psychosis in general. Uh, this is again, it's only from my uh, perspective. I'm also making this mainly for myself, you know. Um, like I do with most of my videos nowadays, it's more just me talking about the subject I want to talk about. And you shouldn't take this as any like professional advice. It's just. What I learned from being in psychosis once and uh, came out of it, uh, hopefully as a better person, you know. Um, first thing I want to talk about is that you need to realize it's all what you make of the world. Um, <clears throat> the world seems to be like breaking almost uh, out of your own mistrust for everything. Uh, wow, great start. Little own goal, we take it, we take it. We're just gonna realize the Hindu have a word for this called the Godhead, right? Um, I don't know if that's their word, but I listened to some Adam uh, Watts shit, uh, and he's he was talking about the Godhead, and I thought it was a great little analogy. Um, it's pretty much the belief that like only your experience of life is real, right? Everything that goes on in life is not really proof of the real, but the real thing is that you're experiencing it. So, the world is just what you make of it, right? And this seems to get truer the deeper you get into psychosis. Things seem to be changing, you think the whole world is uh, being impacted, but it's not always positive. If you have like a distrust, if you think like, oh shit, all these people don't have the best intentions for me, it really starts to seem that way, like the the world just seems to not have like the best intentions for you. Um, if you think that way, I myself went on a manic episode like, ah, God, he died, gabaga. For example, I was like, yo, there needs to be something else outside of like all logic, outside of all that makes sense. There needs to be a driving force for humans to keep going, right? Like, God of some sorts, but also, like, he, him actually having an impact and finding a way to communicate with the people. And that happened to me. Like, I was thinking about that a lot. I just wasn't in the best mental space. I was thinking, yo, all these people are having something that I... Uh, or not having, but all these people uh, know something that we, the consumer, the average Joe, don't. And I thought I figured it out when... Uh, noises started happening along with my my thoughts uh but i'll get into my own experience later but that's a good example of the godhead right you, um life changes or life seems to be changing and the reality seems to be breaking but only in the ways you imagine it so that's a good first reminder um yeah but one thing you also got to realize is you, your perception of the world isn't correct anymore. Uh, you can distrust certain people that that you have no reason to distrust. Uh, nothing actually changed. The, you're come as, as close to being like to reality is like structure as possible almost. It seems like you are breaking reality's fabric, but in reality. Nothing is happening except you are on some weird fucking psychotic trip, you know? Um, and you think this is gonna like actually impact life. For me it was like, okay, these extra noise are happening. I'm just gonna get like a, a bunch of, uh, like, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, 
no profit, but like a bunch of positive, like, uh, yeah, I just thought like shit would change, you know, because my own experience of life seems to be changing. But as soon as you get out of psychosis, you realize that you were just in a weird mental state and kind of a limbo state. Um, but nothing in reality actually changed. It's not like the fabric of reality can actually start changing and all of a sudden you're the fucking son of Drake and Kanye West who is a gay couple with the stepdad Eminem. They, they broke up and, and you were somehow their biological son. Nah, whatever. That doesn't happen, you know. At the end of the day, you still stay with the people around you. Family and friends are still going to be your family and friends. You just may perceive that they won't. And you just end up being really caught up in, in the fact that everything is going to change. Um, which never happens. Uh, and yeah. Ooh, almost a demo, but he got to go anyway. This is a fat win for us. Fat win in the books. We are doing fucking good. Yeah, yeah. So... As much as everything seems to be breaking, nothing is actually going to break. As much as you think, oh, these people don't have the right intentions, they they do. Uh, like, you can mistrust your friends and be like, oh my god, they know something about me that that they haven't told me or, or they don't have the best intentions for me. But this is all just your perception of reality. This isn't, like based in, 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 in reality. It's just your perception of what seems to happen. But it just isn't true. Let's get into the next game. The next thing I want to talk about is get medicated or at least get some help figuring out what your brain is doing. Um, some people don't need that much medication. They, they get by uh, knowing that their brain works a little bit different, but they can manage it and hold it together, you know? But that doesn't work for anyone. If you need medication, go get medicated, like for real. There's nothing bad about being on some meds if you genuinely need that shit. Like, if you are if you have a weakness for psychotic episodes or manic episodes, it's good to get medicated when you need to. Uh, go get the help you need. Go get the help you're, you, you are certainly needing, you know. Don't just try to steer away from all the help. That's, what, that's a problem I had real big after my first psychosis. Um, I was still having a bunch of like issues uh which i just didn't talk about i just kept it to myself but get the help you need uh and be honest with the people around you they're looking out for you they're they're in they're in your life for a reason you know if you have close friends that can keep a better eye on you do that ask them to you know you don't have to to do this all alone and that's like a big part of it talk to the people you need to talk to about what you have experienced or what you are experiencing since those people can still be trusted again it's only your perception of reality that seems to be changing it's not actually reality itself and also don't think that this is a character defining moment besides this video this one video i'm probably never going to talk about my psychotics episodes again even though it was two years but i just don't want my entire character to be hey this guy went kind of nutty nutty one time what the heck you know, this is probably the only time I'll be talking about it. Let's go. Nice one. Um, yeah, so you didn't peek. Don't go in with... Don't, don't be like, okay, this is definitely the thing my life surrounds now. You are not what you went through, you know. You are not the person. You, can, you are only the person you choose to be. Um, for me, that was very big. I was like... Okay, um, this happened. I'm probably never going to feel as good as I did. Like, because uh, I had like a very weird little manic episode. Uh, for me, it didn't feel like anything like bad was happening. For me, it felt like I was becoming more and more important every fucking minute that went by, you know. I was feeling great. I genuinely thought I was the biggest person, the, the most important person on the planet Earth. Um, but that just wasn't the case, you know. I got help from medication and the people around me, and we figured it out. So don't don't go out of this being like, "Yo, I peaked." I'm not because I didn't. It was just a weird 
perception I had of reality. But it doesn't mean it's it's my forever story. Uh, let's get into the next game and let me talk about my own psychosis. My psychosis is a good example of like the godhead complex. Since for me, I'm, I live kind of around content, right? I'm always involved with like music and, and video shit and everything I'm interested in. I, I kind of live for, you know? Um, and that just ended up being really weird for me since I was watching streams and streams I was watching were going with my every thought. Like this was of course not like real life, you know? Um, things just seemed to like magically line up and they were saying things that didn't even make sense. I was watching a pro Valorant stream and they were talking about what I was doing. That isn't real. That was just a weird trip I was on um, getting inputs that weren't there, you know? Getting signals that weren't there. And this went for Twitch, uh, like live shit, YouTube and stuff. Like YouTube videos made like sense in a little third dimension, you know? Uh, or a fourth dimension, I guess. But for me, it really came down to content. And the biggest part of it was probably music. Uh, certain sounds in the music just went with what I was thinking. Like the ad libs were all going with my train of thought. Which was just a weird experience, you know? And I was thinking, oh shit, the Illuminati chose me to be the next fucking godchild. Be the next fucking J. Cole, Eminem, Car fucking Kendrick, Lamar, Mac Miller type beat. Um... So I was getting a lot of like inputs from that and that's where it really started. I was getting caught up in the live community so much, or like not live community, but in the content community so much that it just started all like weirdly aligning for me and it just didn't make sense anymore. I should have noticed at the start there was something wrong. I didn't. I was like, yo, this shit's awesome. I'm fucking God. Holy shit. But of course I'm I'm not. That's not how it works. Um, and besides that, when it like I was able to manage with that, I was a able to be the fucking God chosen middle child, fucking Jesus Christ type figure. I was like sure, sure. But it really started going off the rails um, when TV shows, for example. I was like, yo, Disney is running everything. Disney has like some control and is able to talk to us in the fucking fourth dimension about what we should be doing. And I was thinking this happened to every entertainer, you know, or every big entertainer at least. Um, thinking like, yo, this is fucking crazy. But then on the screen, I saw people almost like transforming, you know? Um, genuinely growing like fucking little Shrek ears and shit. And I was like, shit, Disney is fucking attacking us all. Shit's going hella wrong. Since, like, there's this show with, like, three little hosts in the Netherlands. Um, it's called The Quiz. Um, and they all grew, like, little fucking, like, Shrek ears and little Disney aesthetics. And I was like, shit. And in reality, I was just on way too little sleep. I didn't sleep for days. Um... But I was just hallucinating that they were changing and I wasn't able to recognize it as an hallucination. Uh, I was thinking like, yo, this is fucking real life shit's going wrong and off the wheels, you know? Um, so that was one big uh, thing. Um, that was probably when my first psychosis kind of like went wrong, you know? Uh, well, it went wrong like earlier. Just... Um, I didn't take proper care of my brain. I was I was doing a lot of shit I shouldn't be. That wasn't because of low sleep. My second psychosis was because of extremely low sleep. Um, my first psychosis was just bad taking care of myself. I was always up to something. I never took a second to just sit back and, and relax, you know. Uh, and it just ended up costing so much energy that I started tripping the fuck out one other like big thing that happened was soccer i was watching a soccer match this was in my second psychosis i was thinking i was figuring even more out about like illuminati type beat i was thinking like yo tupac is still alive but in some other way you know um 
in some other way. So every time I was thinking, first of all, Fufuzelas came back. Fufuzelas are like the horns, those fucking annoying type things you you hear in like soccer matches. Uh, those are Fufuzelas. And they, they, they are banned. They are banned from being in soccer matches. But I was hearing them again. I was like, oh shit. And every time I was thinking like the wrong direction, the horns start playing. And every time I was thinking the right direction, my, uh, it wasn't. Like, uh, it was more silent and more manageable. Um, so I was thinking a lot about like which people are still alive, what fucking theories are out there, who faked their death and everything. Um, and I ended up, like, I don't think this anymore. Like, a lot of this shit is just out of pocket, you know? Um, but I was thinking, yo, Tupac is still alive. <laughs> Imagine we lose this in two seconds. Uh, but I was thinking, like, Tupac is still alive. So, by in the soccer game, every single player on the field ended up changing to, like, a modern depiction of Tupac. His hair was different. He had dreadlocks and, like, a little fucking elastic band. Like, he was looking good, you know? Um, and I was, I, I was stripping the fuck out, um, and I thought that was real, uh, and that put me in my second psychosis, but now I'm on medication, I take better care of my brain, uh, I'm, I am, uh, hoping to go off medication again, but I'm doing pretty good, I'm doing alright and haven't had any, uh, psychosis, uh, psychotic thingies happen, uh, off late, but that's it, I think I'm gonna end the video there, we ended Diamond 2 Deficient 1. Let's go. I played a little bit of camera, so I'm a bit higher, but very nice. Um, but that's all I wanted to talk about. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, take care. Bye bye.